Miss Rachel and I are out morel mushroom hunting and Rachel has found her first ever. there. I know. <laughs> she has found her first morel mushroom. We will teach this city girl how to live in the wild. I don't know how many of you guys go out and do any foraging. I highly recommend it, of course. Not only do you get to spend some time in the outdoors, but you're also getting to scout. You're looking for shed antlers, learning the land. A lot of my deer scouting comes from, and learning of the area comes from doing a lot of the morale mushroom hunting and some of the other foraging that we do. You just get a more intricate, in-depth look into the terrain you're working with. And they're delicious. So there's that. Bring your kids. My boys have gone with me since they were little. They love doing it. And it's just something to do in the spring outside of turkey hunting. So we'll keep you guys posted. Little miss of the woods been crying the whole time. Still only our one corral. I'm gonna go to a spot I know that I've typically found a few early. Looks like it's just a hair early and it's really dry. Surprisingly with all the rain we've had. But we'll keep on it. And we got one. Actually, we just got three. I didn't get it on video, the first two. But actually, Rachel found those two herself. First time ever finding morels. Here's another one right here. I got two right here. We are having steak tonight. So. All right. Sweet. All right, guys, the official score is three to two. I found three and Rachel found two. We are scouring. We're losing light. We got out here late. Rachel has a job. We are Looking. What's that? I'm kidding. It's like, can this be my new job? Well, if you can find a few, find a few oh. thousand pounds, you could make a decent <laughs> living at it. Comment below. Does anybody who forages morels sell them, or does everybody just find enough to eat themselves? I don't think I've ever found enough to be able to sell. I think the most I've ever found is like 15 to 20 pounds in a season. And once you dry that out, that is not a lot of weight. But I know some people have some good areas, especially in central Wisconsin. We're on the east side. We don't get as many as some of the central areas, but we certainly get enough. Yeah, let me know what you do. All right, folks, we got another one. Jackpot. Four to two. I am the king. I won't tell you what the bet is on the winner and what they get. 
but I'm winning. And guess who is pulling away like crazy? Five to two. Oh, it's gonna be a good night tonight. All right, folks, I got another. I'm scanning for any in the vicinity. Do not see any. But let's just say my lead is strong. And that'll teach you if you're going to make a bet with your woman, make sure it's in an area that you know you can win. Nobody likes to lose. Oh, I got a big one over here. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, doggy. doing fantastic but we now have enough to pick up steaks on the way home and grill out some nice steaks and fry up some oh this smells so good I can smell the morels they're so good it is really hard to see if you can't tell it's getting to be pretty late it's really hard to pick up that contrast Overall, it's just a fun time to be out in the woods, spending time with people you love. Coyote. There's your coyotes, dear. I normally don't do this kind of stuff, but tell you it is fantastic having someone that you love who enjoys being out in the outdoors with you spending time with you a lot of people would think this was a really dumb way to spend a friday night <laughs> but you know this is how you make your memories and these are things you can talk about you know we're all young once and Going out to bars and clubs and whatever. I mean, I didn't do bad stuff, but a lot of people do. And that's all fine and dandy, but. Oh, listen to them coyotes. Driving home and talking and holding hands. Good times. All right, enough of that. It's fine. One more. All right, ladies and gents, that's it. For tonight, we ended up with about 10, 11 morels, and uh, looking at it, but um, good day. So, we'll fry some up and see what we got. All right, guys, we're back. We got our morels washed, we got them split, we got some steaks. We're gonna grill up. Got Miss Rachel doing her job making dinner. Stirring the potatoes. Of course, she's using a metal thing in a non-stick pan. <laughs> that's, that's all right. This is awesome. And then we're going to get some onion going. Got potatoes boiling, morels, and steak. Yeah. It's going to be a good meal. sizzling steak. Alright guys, finished product. Ribeye steak, ranch, uh, mashed potatoes with some of the mushroom sauteed butter over top, onions, for me and Miss Rachel. After a long, hard day's work, and a 
Pharrell's. Mm. So good. You guys need to get out and get your some. I've tried to get a better video during daylight hours of what I look for and how I find them. But there's a lot of videos out there how to do it. But it's just a fun thing to do. A couple hours you can burn with the either by yourself or with other people. But I prefer to do it with others and have fun together and create good memories.